the scoreboard says you guys are down a goal, but you're coming home in front of the, the crowd that you play well in front of, at a place you play very well. We know you're a great second half team. This is kind of halftime of the series. Even though you're down a goal, do you feel really confident with all those other things that, that now are to your advantage, seemingly? I feel confident in my team's ability. Um, but, um, look, Leon was a very good team and um, put on a very good performance Wednesday night. So we respect um, our opponent and what they can do and, um, you know, how they exposed us. Um, one goal difference, yeah, I think whether you tie down there or you lose by one goal, it doesn't really change the dynamics of this game. Um, if you want to raise a trophy, well, which we do, you have to win a game tomorrow. Um, and whether you do 90 minutes or you need overtime and penalties, that's fine too. Um, but our objective is to win, and that's where our, our mental state is. And uh, we feel we have the tools to do it. You're welcome. Hi, Steve Costa Lopez from Air Sports Network. Um, just wondering if Jesus Murillo is physically fit to play tomorrow. And having played Leon uh, uh, the other day, what are the strengths of the characteristics that you see on tomorrow's opponent? Well, I think they're they're very good at um, um, speeding up uh, the play, um, possessing the ball. You know, they exposed us a little bit in the width. Um, so they, they, they did an excellent job of the night, um, but they also didn't see um, the real AFC. Um, who was aggressive and on the front foot and playing better football and taking advantage of, of those small modes in the game, um, you know, where Leon got a little stretched. So um, we're hopeful that we'll put in a much better performance tomorrow and hopeful that that'll be enough to, to create the edge against uh, Leon. But um, certainly, you know, their ability to, to manage games, step up the tempo early on, to possess the ball, and, and their rotations on the flanks are, are, are very good. It's a very good team, um, and they deserve to be in the final. What about Jesus? Is he available tomorrow? Um, he's available, yeah. Steve. Mm -hmm. Hey, Steve. Uh, quickly on, on Kellen, is he someone, is he an option for tomorrow for you? He's also available, yeah. Yeah. Um, wh why was Leon so successful on set pieces, uh, looking back on that? Is that something you can address uh, leading up to Sunday? Mm, yeah, set pieces are, are kind of a overflow, <coughs> sorry, or a carry over what's going on during the game. And I think our overall passiveness um, hurt us um, out of run and play, but also in set pieces. So that will be corrected for sure, and um, we expect a, a positive result with set pieces uh, um, um, as far as set pieces go. Hey, it's a, kind of a big picture question about, about this organization and, and for all the collaboration and ambition and professionalism that you guys have. How, how, how big a part is grit, sort of, in, in this sort of concoction that you guys have as far as success lately? Yeah, I, I can move tactics, the, the magnets of the tactics are going around uh, um, fairly well. Um, and I think I know what's going on in this game, but that does not decide finals and that does not decide championships. Um, it's a very good point. Aggressiveness the mentality, the will to win, um, I think is what we'll decide tomorrow. And, and that carries over onto the field into quality of play. Being there in those big moments, being um, aware, alert, uh, mentally in the right state to capitalize on those few moments. It could be a transition moment, it could be a set piece, it could be um, a very well played uh, attack. Um, so yeah, grit in creating those moments and creating your luck is extremely important in getting this organization over the finish line. And we were able to do it twice last year. We're looking to complete the task again tomorrow. Um, just wanted to ask, when you guys are in a rhythm, finding success at home, what, what do you attribute that to? Is, is there a certain quality or several that you feel tends to empower this team, particularly playing at home and especially in the early portions of a match, which I know you've stressed uh, in the past as well? Um, well, it's first and foremost, quality players. Uh, we have very good players at LHC. And um, you couple that with um, a pretty good record at home, um, and then fantastic fans pushing these players as far and as hard as they can go. Um, I think that combined gives you this result in the picture that you described or painted. So um, we're looking for that again tomorrow, and I looked in the faces of my players today um, and yesterday in training, and they'll be ready. Any questions here in the room? I'm going to go to the back here. Coach, thanks for your time. Uh, what about uh, a thing your uh, the referee, the, the 
you the work the referee the last game please mm, my opinion of the referee in the last game oh i i don't have one um the referees are doing their the best of their ability to be fair um we're he they're humans just like you and i they make mistakes um i make mistakes every day usually with my kids but um look they're, they're doing their best That's, Hi, Steph. This is Ricardo Vaquier from, from Fox Sports Mexico. Uh, usually when the lights shine brighter, you expect your best players to show up. I'm talking about Carlos Vela. Anything specific you've asked him to do this Sunday? What are you expecting from him? Just to be Carlos Vela and to be part of LAFC. Um, he understands the way we want to play. He's been a big contributor to this, this club. Um, and he knows what to do to play well and what the team needs of him. And that's just being himself. Um, it's it's not dependent on one player. Um, I think Carlos gets better if the team gets better, and and vice versa. So it's it's uh, it's a team effort tomorrow, and that's what it's going to take to beat this very good Leon side. Hey Steve, good to talk to you again. Uh, what do you think is surprised the most to your team during the first game? Is that the atmosphere around the stadium, or the intensity in the field? And if there is any uh, formal protest from LAFC for the audience trying to the, uh, to the pitch after the game, I don't think there's been anything from our side. Um, look, you're playing against a team, an organization, in a city who wants to win a championship. Like when emotions boil over in games, I'm good with that. Um, I think that's why people actually come and watch these things. So um, <laughs> you won't hear anything from us for that. Um, but hopefully nobody throws anything on the field tomorrow. That'd be nice. Um, I think the most surprising thing about Wednesday night uh, for our players was uh, their own performances. Not so much Leon. We knew it was coming our way. There's plenty of video. There's plenty of documentation how they play and, and uh, you know how intense the game would be. So n none of that should surprise the guys. I think more or less our own performances surprised us. Uh, um, just had a bad game at the wrong time. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Coach, back here, in a, in a personal level, uh, you have beaten Mexican teams, Mexico specific, but how sweet this will be for you to beat the Mexican team and make more history with, as a coach with an MLS team and beat one of the important uh, teams in Mexico, which is Leon? I really enjoy watching Liga MX. I love watching the Mexican national team. Loved playing in Azteca and, and against Mexico. Um, it's a great rivalry. Um, but I take no personal pride in beating them. Um, I don't care who's on the field tomorrow. It could be Barcelona. Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, the only thing, my only objective and the only thing I'm, I'm working towards is winning a trophy for LAFC. And that's um, regardless against who. So, um, yeah, it happens to be a Mexican team and they're very good. But I take no personal pride to answer your question in, in beating a Mexican team. Yeah, thanks, Coach. Uh, Chris, I was re-watching the first game and just wanted to understand how, how do you get more of the Elite Sanchez? It seems like Leon was uh, bypassing him. You know, how do you get more of your six? Well, we'll have... We'll have uh, Plenty of ideas how to do it, um, and I think it's just interconnected with other players too. Um, you know, our the way we play is very connected. If if we are effective up top, if we are pressing and running, um, our back four aggressive, that automatically pulls your midfield in both directions. So um, it's all connected. So it's again, I'm not going to point out one player here, one player there. Um, for us, it's uh, it's always a team effort and staying connected and compact. And if we can do that. Um, with the mindset that we are, are the aggressors, then uh, we'll be just fine, and so will you.